Hello, Anime Vizier here, and Zignum, with a review for BNA, also known as Brand New Animal. BNA is another anime by Trigger, which full disclosure, I do back on Patreon. It's directed by Yo Yoshinari, who also directed Little Witch Academia. The two anime also share a similar art style, with BNA having a hint of Kill a Kill flavoring sprinkled throughout. But is BNA on par with its predecessors? Let's find out. BNA takes place in a world where humans are at odds with beastmen a species able to transform into animal-like people. Because of the conflict between humans and beastmen, the beastmen were forced into hiding. However, Anima City is a safe haven for those oppressed individuals, where they can live free from human interference. One day, a human girl named Michiru suddenly turns into a tanuki. Stuck in her beast form, she goes to Anima City, but soon finds out that it's a far cry from paradise. So how does it compare to Little Witch Academia and other Trigger anime? Hmm... It's not bad, but I wouldn't call it all that outstanding either. The first half is fairly episodic and the story, the themes, and the characters' directions aren't very clear or focused. For example, it touches on a lot of themes dealing with racism, religion, or class division between the wealthy and poor, but never really focuses on them. They're just sort of there, making them kind of feel shallow in the anime. Maybe it would have helped if it just chose and stuck with one of those themes. The anime would have had a voice and said something about that particular theme, but because it tries to cover multiple themes, the voices become indistinct and it's hard to hear what the anime is trying to say. I kind of slipped into a metaphor there, so hopefully that made sense that there are too many competing themes, and had it just chose one, it would have delivered a stronger message to the viewer. What about the characters? Well, outside of Michiru, Shiro, and Nazuna, there's not much to say. There's a few episodes that introduce a side or supporting character, and then BNA proceeds to not do much with them. Those characters get a whole episode for an introduction, but then aren't all that important. And that's time I think it could have spent better focusing on Michiru, Shiro, and Nazuna, because those three are the main focus by about halfway through. Specifically, I think it could have shown more juxtaposition between Michiru and Nazuna sooner to better set up that character dynamic and focus on that stuff more. Because the relationship ends up being a big focus in the anime, but it just sort of happens and had they set Nazuna's character up sooner in the beginning of the anime, it would have had better focus in a direction it wanted to go instead of meandering about during the first half. Now that doesn't fix Michiru's problem of conveniently showing up at the point of action every single time. If it happened once or twice, okay, but it happens multiple times with very little to no reasoning. It's always something happens, turn the corner, Michiru is there to get involved. And it's just too convenient for my liking that she's there every time to move the plot along. And what about Shiro? He's alright. He's probably the best handled of the three, but, and I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a twist with his character that I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a twist or not. Like it seems like it would be a twist, but it telegraphs it so early on that it's not much of a surprise when it's actually revealed. And it honestly makes me think that BNA should have been a movie instead of a TV series. While I'm sure there are people out there that would prefer BNA to have 24 episodes instead of 12 to help expand on the story, themes, and characters. However, if you did that, you'd probably get more episodic one-off episodes like the first half of the anime. You mean filler episodes? Yeah, I guess it is. If BNA was longer, I have a feeling it would just have more filler episodes, which may be more distracting and problematic in an anime that with only 12 episodes showed it had a problem finding focus and direction. However, I kind of think BNA would be better if it was shorter. If it was a 2 hour movie and Promare was a 12 episode TV series, it might fix some of the problems in both anime. Promare would have more time for the viewer to get to know the other characters of Galo's team, that the movie completely glosses over, and BNA could be more focused on its story, main characters, and theme. You're not missing much by cutting some of the side characters in BNA, 
So if it told a story that primarily focused on the Mitru, Shiro, and Nazuna relationship, chose only one of the themes between racism, religion, or class division, I think it'd be a stronger, more defined anime. At the very least, Nazuna would get some focus on her character sooner, potentially setting her stuff up with Mitru better, and the twist regarding Shiro would be less telegraphed because there's less time. BNA is certainly not a bad anime. It does have its moments, but feels unfocused with its theme, story, and characters. As I've said, I think it would have worked better as a movie. As a movie, it could have given focus to areas of the TV series that were lacking, given BNA more clarity and be a little more memorable than it is now. If you're a big fan of Trigger, go ahead and watch it. If you're not, put it on your watch list and get around to it when you can. It's not something you need to rush and watch right away. Instead, it's more something you can watch on a slow Sunday afternoon. That sounds like a good idea to me. With that said, that'll wrap up my thoughts on BNA. What are your thoughts on BNA? Let us know in the comments below. As always, I've been Anime Advisor. And I've been Zignum. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. Goodbye.